G'day Giants, Ram here. Welcome to another episode of the Amateur Tennis Life. I am your amateur tennis player and to all other amateur tennis players, welcome to this footage where I am going to show you my second ever tennis lesson. I don't have my first tennis lesson recorded, unfortunately. I didn't have any um, equipment set up, but this time I did for this one and I thought next best thing is, is to share with you my second ever tennis lesson. So um, I am going to give you my reactions and thoughts over the top of the footage. Hopefully you like that format. Uh, let me know what you think. And I am coached by a wonderful professional uh, former pro player. She was a top 150 in Japan. And I'm so grateful to have her as my first coach um, as I enter back into the world of social recreational tennis. Enjoy. All right, here we go. So fascinating watching yourself back um, in the past because this is the 16th of June. Right now, as I'm watching this, it's the 23rd of August. So we're talking uh, two months and one week ago. Can't even get it in. Overhitting is something that I've been trying to work on, uh, work less on rather. What am I doing there? I was talking about contact point height. You'll notice that I ask a lot of questions talking about my uh, swing stroke slash um, follow through there. Racket face is facing down on that one. Here's my coach pretty much just making sure that I've understood that my racket face has to be uh, flat upon contact and then forward and wipe up. I'm laughing a little bit on the inside because my whole body swings, <laughs> which is um, something that hopefully I've now uh, improved on to not do. <laughs> like my whole body, including my shoulders, arms, everything, it's so flappy. So here I've asked my coach about my footing and where I put my weight because you still see that my weight just went heavily right it has been when I've been doing forehands a lot. Also what I've been learning is the elbow um, when to bend the elbow um, because I tend to keep it extended all the way. And so even now, I'm shadow swinging to see how my stroke path is um, in comparison to, to when, when the ball bounces and, and, and how close slash how, how far it is um, and how I'm meant to react to that if I'm meant to go forward like I'm doing now because sometimes a short bounce catches me off guard. Two months in now, even with, with training, I, I wind up for a, for a hit and the ball is already gonna bounce a second time because I'm, I'm not perceiving it correctly. So my my forward foot has to be on a stepping stance rather than an open stance. So my coach is encouraging me to uh, make sure that I'm stepping towards the ball when it's a short bounce.
versus that one when it goes out wide I can take an outward step rather than an inward forward step so here I think we're mixing it up a little bit Oop. <laughs> Sorry, coach. I also found how unfit I was. <laughs> In terms of cardio fitness, anyway. Such a good uh, sport just for, for cardio. Here I am getting a bit more confidence. Oh, that was short-lived. So backhands have been non-existent for me prior to getting a lot of lessons. So the biggest thing for me with backhands that uh, my coach taught me here in this lesson in particular was to focus on my left hand slash arm uh, of, of power rather than my, my right. So it's just totally changed how I operate with backhands because um, I'm gripping so tight with my right hand and my right forearm that subconsciously I'm using my right when it shouldn't be. It should be actually my left as the dominant control slash um, source of power. Here we are learning volleys I have so much to learn with volleys um, coach here is um, basically saying that a it has to be uh, more of a hammer grip but also it's a almost like your your it's a 45 degree slicing um, motion slash forwards slash slicing motion yeah but yeah you get the idea I also need to prepare earlier, so when my opponent hits the ball, I should be split stepping um, or at least preparing myself as to which side I need to um, do my unit turn in. All right, here we go, attempting serves. not great with serves at this point um, fortunately I've been practicing a lot in the last two months and been getting most of them in this is the amateur tennis life folks in its rawness How good's my coach? Oof. That was fun. Hey, so if you've made it this far, thank you so much for tuning in. It really means a lot. If you are an amateur tennis player as well, I'd love to hear from you in the comments below. If you are... Uh, challenged by a particular thing or if you've overcome a particular thing I would certainly love to hear your thoughts around that and of course if you have any advice for me and things that you want to share on all these videos that I'm creating so please share that and of course subscribe all that good stuff that uh, YouTubers say like thumbs up etc uh, please subscribe and I will be releasing tons more videos I have so much footage to edit and I can't wait to share with you and continue to document my journey. All right, see you on the next video. Cheers.